Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Antifa writer attacks police in Phoenix, gets hit in nuts immediately in video going viral. Talk about a nut shot. In an effort to get rid of Trump protesters, Phoenix police fired pepper balls and tear gas. Many protesters didn't obey the police. The video you are about to watch is what happens when you play stupid games and win stupid prizes. That'll leave a mark. This is why you shouldn't be a member of Antifa. One moment you are out being an anarchist and kicking trash cans with your friends and another moment you are laying face up in a hospital bed wondering why your balls don't work. Let's watch that again. How bad does that guy's balls hurt? I don't know. Probably a lot. According to the Phoenix police, the police were hurling percussion grenades. Fox Business Network host Jeff Flock screamed holy SHT. The alt-left mob then claimed that they were totally peaceful. I doubt that. Share this to expose the liberal violence for what it really is. The media won't show it so it is up to us. Danger. CNN just initiated the next phase of their sick plot to destroy Trump. Stop them now. Henry Jackson for Politico reports, as President Donald Trump's fiery Phoenix campaign rally ended, CNN anchor Don Lemon had an instant reaction, he openly questioned Trump's fitness for office. Lemon rented, I'm just going to speak from the heart here, what we have witnessed is a total eclipse of the facts. He's unhinged. It's embarrassing. Then like clockwork former Obama lackey James Clapper joined in further planting the seeds claiming Trump is looking for a way out of the presidency. I don't understand the adulation no crap Mr. Clapper. Of course you don't understand. That is why you lost the election. You don't understand the American people. You and Don Lemon are disconnected from reality. This is it, friends, the next phase has been initiated. First Russia, then racism, now mentally unfit to lead. As we've reported here multiple bills have already been introduced to take down our president claiming he is unfit for command, and what you just witnessed is CNN, Don Lemon and James Clapper abusing their positions in an effort to further that narrative and undermine, not only President Trump, but America as a whole. It is time we sound the alarm together, and to every Trump supporter in the land, that they have initiated the next phase of their plan to take down Trump. But we see through their schemes. The good news is these morons never learn. And that no weapon formed against our president will prosper and every attempt by the enemy to attack is exposed and only makes him stronger. We need to get this out there, patriots. Laura Ingram just got ultimate revenge on CNN and Morning Joe that will ruin them. Laura Ingram loves to tell it like it is, wouldn't you agree? She did it again, just after President Trump's Arizona rally on Tuesday. While it's difficult to get an accurate account of the crowd size, the venue holds 19,000 and it appeared packed from photos. And Laura thinks Trump should do it every week. Why? To drive the MSM crazy. She's right, you know. The media had to come apart after his rally. Joe Scarborough said the rally was hateful and frightening for example. But we all know where his motivations lie. And the truth is, Trump was exactly the man the American people elected. CNN's Don Lemon claimed that Trump lied at the rally. Really? I'm pretty sure Trump just hurt his feelings, since what Trump says about the lying media is the truth, and he knows it. If you agree with Laura, and would love to see Trump rally weekly to continue to get the patriots who elected him excited, comment yes and share so much Trump sees it. H. T. The Hill Breaking President Trump just gave Sheriff Joe Arpaio the news everyone was waiting to hear. 
America's toughest sheriff, Joe Arpaio, has been an enemy of the left ever since he deported his first illegal immigrant. Sheriff Joe was convicted of criminal contempt by an Obama-appointed judge last month. The ruling was especially ridiculous because Sheriff Joe was literally being punished for simply doing his job and continuing to enforce immigration laws. The sheriff is facing six months in jail which might not sound too bad for some, but for the sheriff, it's likely a death sentence. Last night, at his rally in Phoenix, President Trump gave Sheriff Joe the OK to breath easy. He should have had a jury, but I'll make a prediction, he'll be just fine, Trump said. But I won't do it tonight, because I don't want to cause any controversy. But Sheriff Joe can feel good. Sheriff Arpaio responded, telling Fox that he was humbled by Trump's words. Thank God we have a president who is willing to stand up for our law enforcement. Thank you President Trump and thank you Sheriff Joe Arpaio for all your years of protecting Americans. Fight back Trump just exposed Antifa's huge secret that media didn't want getting out. The media has sure been working overtime to accuse Trump of being a, well, everything while also trying to cover up for the horrific violent crimes committed by the alt-left recent dot but Trump is not. Last night President Trump went hard after the leftist radicals when he called them out for two things the media won't admit, their weapons and masks and. Trump said Antifa were too lazy to protest when it's hot outside. Trump told the massive crowd of supporters in the arena. You know, they show up in the helmets and the black masks and they've got clubs, they've got everything. Antifa. All week they're talking about the massive crowds that are going to be outside. Where are they? Where are they? Well, it's hot out. Ah. It looks like poor little Antifa was too hot in their riot gear. Maybe they just couldn't find enough lunatics in Phoenix who wanted to help them beat it up the elderly and attack cops. I mean, sure. A couple might have turned out here and there, but I think today proved that the public is starting to see these radicals for what they really are. So now it's our turn to help spread the president's message against radicals and hate on all sides everywhere so we can put an end to both white supremacy and leftist radicals at the same time. Amen. Last night Ben Carson said the one thing that will unite all Americans. Ben Carson took to the stage in Phoenix last night and gave the speech of a lifetime. Ever since the horrible incident in Charlottesville, the liberal media has been attacking our president and calling him racist. Even though he has called all racist hate groups repugnant, they still are misinforming the public and editing his words. Ben Carson knows exactly what they are doing and he called them at point blank. He warned that there are others in our society now who are trying to fill us with the wrong things. The purveyors of hatred and division, they want to divide us on the basis of race, income, age and religion. But you know what? We are much too smart to fall for that garbage. After a roaring applause, Ben Carson went on to close his speech with a powerful message every American should hear. We the people of America will choose to fill our brains with knowledge over ignorance, our hearts with love instead of hatred, our tongues with words of respect instead of slander. Our hands will not be filled with steel and stone, but proudly holding our star-spangled banner, under which so many have sacrificed, under which we now gather in freedom, under which God willing our children shall live together in freedom. Many on the left hope that Dr. Ben Carson's words of unity go unheard. It's up to us to share his message. Thank you Ben Carson for bringing us together when so many evils are trying to tear us apart. Payback moments after attacking Trump on camera, MSNBC got slammed with instant karma. The media has proven it will take any opportunity to attack our president. But pulling numbers out of a hat to simply prove a point is just downright irresponsible. During an interview Thursday on MSNBC, 
host Holly Velshi made a ridiculous claim that President Donald Trump is not even close to being the largest job creator in his first six months as president. Unfortunately for Velshi, the facts don't support these claims, and Trump adviser Brad Thomas was recently on MSNBC to explain why. What we're seeing now is job creation, Thomas said. President Trump has created over a million jobs this year to date. Numbers published by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, BLS, show that since February, Trump's first full month in office, the United States has added 1.1 million jobs over six months, a whopping change of nearly 1 percent. But Velshi responded by limiting the significance of these numbers, and even argued that both Obama and George W. Bush had done better. I've given you evidence, Brad, said Velshi. Job creation is not as good under President Trump as it was under President Obama, President Bush, President Clinton in the first six months of their office. Once again, not true. In fact, President Trump has had higher job creation than both Obama and Bush on both a percent change and nominal basis. As far as Bill Clinton, MSNBC must have forgotten that his presidency began at the end of a recession. Furthermore, MSNBC's claim that President Trump ranks eighth all-time in job creation is suspiciously off the mark. According to in-depth research, President Trump ranks fourth out of the 13 presidents compared, while, surprise surprise, Obama ranks 12th. Clearly a far cry from not even close. It's about time these spinsters starting telling the whole truth. It's one thing to offer your opinion, even if it's shockingly biased and unfounded but it's another thing to play fast and loose with facts. Numbers don't lie and neither does our president. He has rallied for job creation since day one and his supporters will not be swayed by personal attacks and leftist vendettas. If y'all know the real truth about President Trump and stand by him no matter what, share this now before the press spreads more lies. Sources, DailyCaller.com